Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Capsule O Metals Volume 1. Um, yep, we're starting this trend again. Uh, I did decide to get the entire set. Um, I don't really need these ones, but they're slightly different. I kind of have a thing for coins, so I figured I would get the entire set. Anyway, so um, in this set we have Taka, Tora, Bata, Kamakiri, Double, Kiva, um, Fize, Ryuki, and Ryuga. I don't have Ryuga. Ryuga is a... Basically, this cast it in black. And, um... It's one in every 50 capsules. There's a bag of 50, you get one Ryuki. Or Ryuga. Uh, so, needless to say, um... A, like, I got this set for 2,800... You can get the set of eight anywhere between twenty five uh, hundred and three thousand yen. Um, throw Ryuga into the mix, and the set jumps up to seventy five hundred to eight thousand, nine thousand even. Um, the the metal itself goes for about five thousand yen. It's completely ridiculous. So I don't have Ryuga. I won't be getting Ryuga. Hopefully, maybe they'll release O Metal Dark Rider version or something, and they'll re-release all of them in normal to get versions. I uh, like the guy in memory as well, but whatever. Uh, who cares? I don't. It's stupid anyway. Um, so let's get on with this. Uh, we'll move the riders aside real quick just because they're the main focus here. Uh, these aren't that much different than the deluxe ones. Both of them have die cast edges. Uh, both of them are pretty much the same uh, color all around. Um, the deluxe one right here has the line on the back. Well, this one has, if you can see it properly, you get even closer. There you go, you can kind of see it. It's three stars um, in kind of like a circular pattern. Or the stars are in a line, but they're inside of like a broken up circle. So um, that's how that rolls. So the backs are different, which is one of the main reasons I decided to keep them. Uh, and the fronts are a tiny bit different, too. They're the same symbol, but uh, the capsule one is a little bit more vibrant of a red. And uh, the the background is more uh, uh, textural. This one's... I, I mean, this one has bumps, but it's kind of overall flat. But this one has a lot of uh, very noticeable texture in the uh, in the background. So, um, overall, it's, I guess it's worth keeping them if you do get the set. But, um, it's no real huge reason to keep them if you have the deluxe one already. Uh, here is Tora. I won't compare the rest of them because they're all pretty much the same thing. I do love the Tora metal. Bata. Kamakiri. And uh, that that's all for these four. Um, they Like I said, they're the same. Just the backs are different. Um, one thing to note is that I'll do it with... I'll do it with Tor, just because I like tigers. Um, scanner. Um, so if, if you get a Torah in the candy toy set, uh, that I should be receiving very soon and should probably go up at right after this video, um, you could do something like Torah, 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 the, uh, no, <coughs> we're not doing that, uh, Taka, 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 Bata, 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 anything, you can do basically triples of the main forms, which is actually pretty cool. I do look forward to doing that, so look forward to that into the uh, Candy Tour review. But uh, anyway, let's take a quick look at the Rider Metals, because that's where this uh, real awesomeness is. Um, the backs are still the same uh, three-starred little patterns, so there's nothing really good, really worthwhile there. But uh, doubles cast in a really nice green color uh, with the double logo right there. Um, the Rider Metals all have a blue border, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the blue. Um, like I said, die cast. 
Um, it just looks really, really, really nice. And then I drop it. So anyway, uh, that's double Kiva. Um, I kind of wish Kiva wasn't cast in yellow, but um, I do understand the reasoning. Mostly Emperor form and uh, his eye color and stuff. But uh, the logo is really nice, prominent in there, and I really like it. I love Kiva's logo. Uh, Fize, I always forget which direction it goes, and then I realize it doesn't matter. Um, Fize is a really kind of lackluster logo, but I, I mean, I understand it. But And it's casting clear. It's kind of an awkward choice. Chip is very, very noticeable in a clear metal. And Ryuki. Really, really nice as well. And uh, like I said, the uh, Ryuga metal is just this cast in black. It isn't remolded to have Ryuga's symbol, which is another reason why I didn't really feel like I needed it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a disappointment in that. And I mean, things like Dark Kabuto that's coming out on the next set are okay because they had the same logo. But uh, if you're trying to pass off as a Ryuga metal, at least remold it to be Ryuga's face. So, um, basically... I'll do one little combination of these. The combinations don't change, but uh, I'll go through all of the uh, little sounds. Double. And then uh, Ryuga would say Dark Rider. It doesn't even say Ryuga. All of the uh, Evil Rider medals all just say Dark Rider. So, um... Let's just do a couple little quick combinations. Double, Kiva, Fies, some of my favorite series. So it's just generic sound, and there is a scanning charge. And the rider medals are fully uh, interchangeable with the uh, with the uh, other the core medals. And just so he isn't left out, we'll do Ryuki Kamakiri. Kiva. Yep. And uh, just to prove another quick point, uh, Taka, Tora, Bata. That didn't work at all. So the so uh, song still plays when you scan the uh, capsule uh, metals. There really isn't a difference between the capsules and the deluxe besides... Uh, the kind of like the material used, the color of plastic used, and the back. That is really the only difference between these. Um, of course, you, to get the enjoyment out of these, you do need the driver. So you would have the deluxe ones already. So it's kind of a weird ordeal that, I mean, to enjoy these, you need the driver. And if you have the driver, you have the deluxe ones of these already. So it's kind of redundant, but I guess if you're a big uh, metal collector like I plan on being, um, that having more of these, kind of like in the show where there's like two of each core metal, is actually kind of cool and a little bit more realistic. So uh, it's a nice collecting aspect, but uh, practicality-wise, it just doesn't really make much sense to me. But uh, you can check out a photo gallery of these at uh, flickr.com slash photo slash you can show me. And of course, check out the blog at you can show me for at for these news, updates, and release dates. So um, check out the podcast, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles at Riders, Rangers, and Rambles .com, bringing you the latest token news in the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye.